because of live stream, we weren't able to have the reading of the parent tributes at the same time as the slideshow. So thank you. I hope live stream people loved that video. And for all of you, this is all being recorded so that you can keep this as a keepsake. And so here is the order for the parent tributes, okay? Students, and you know what? We just adore your kids and we're so thrilled. I think most of them are staying on for high school. But you know what, parents, you have awesome students here, kids here. And so here's the order. Ian, you're gonna come up first. Following Ian is Mia, Elizabeth, Amber, Kate. And then I think this one is Rachel's. And then we have Brooke, Ella, and Arabella. Okay, you guys remember the order? If not, then you can find it in the tablet here. Okay, thank you. Um, I would like to start off by thanking my parents for letting me graduate with my friends and for basically everything they have done for me. Words can't explain how grateful I am for what you guys have done for me. You look out for me, deal with me when I'm ill, help me with homework, wake me up on time for school, put food on the table, put a roof over my head, and etc. You must have sacrificed a lot for me to be here today, and I thank you for that. I am truly blessed to have such kind and caring parents like you guys. I would also like to thank all the teachers I've had, because I obviously wouldn't be here without them, and it probably was a pain to deal with me, and I do apologize for that. Thank you, also, thank you to my classmates and my friends for making my last year here at school a fun and memorable one. I really couldn't ask for better classmates to spend my last school year with. Once again, I am really thankful to have such great teachers, classmates, and family. for everything they did for me. Thank you for always helping me with schoolwork and always being there for me. I would also like to always thank you for believing me when I did not. I'd also like to thank my classmates for all the fun and amazing memories and for always making school so much more fun, for also doing class prayers and always making class never boring. And I would also like to thank my teachers for always teaching me new things, for always helping me when I needed help. And thank you so much for dealing with us and our crazy personalities. Support and care. Thank you for providing me with everything I need to have a good life, for giving me opportunity and guiding me over the years. Thank you for bringing me to this school where I have learned about God and made memories with friends. Thank you, Mom, for teaching me forgiveness and Dad for teaching me responsibility and educational skills. I appreciate everything you have done. I also want to thank my brother for teaching me athletic skills and my sister for all the memories. All of you have taught me something different that I will use as I get older. I would not be here without all your support, love, and guidance. Thank you. and blessed to have you as my parents. I want to express my gratitude for your care and support over the years. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for instilling me with a strong passion for learning and for doing everything possible to put me on the path to greatness. Without you, I would not have the opportunity to get such a great education. I will never forget the important values you have passed down to me. Thank you for always supporting me, encouraging, and pushing me to do my best. You have always been there for me. 
ready to lend a hand whenever I needed. Thank you for letting me have a Christian education. I truly appreciate everything you've done for me. I know how much you've sacrificed for me. Today, I feel so honored to be graduating eighth grade. This achievement would not have been possible without your support. There are no better words to use today than thank you. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Thank you for so much. Thank you so much for believing in me. You are the best parents in the world. I love you. I want to thank everyone who has helped me get this far in my education, especially my parents. Thank you for all the support you have given me all my life. Thank you for always believing in me when I didn't believe in myself. I'd also like to thank my teachers because you've taught me so much over the years at Pleasant Hill and helped me become a better person. And thank you to my classmates for all the memories. I will never forget them. wonderful parents who have blessed me with their wisdom over these years. I cannot begin to, to describe how much you've impacted my life. You have sent me to a Christian school, allowing me to learn about the Bible and help me with my schoolwork. Thank you for being my support group through these few years, and I'm sure many more to come. You're always there for me, no matter what. You always put a smile on my face, even though sometimes it embarrasses me. Thanks for everything you've given me and sacrificed for me. You've pushed me to be the best that I can be, involving me in so many fun activities. You've taken me on so many adventures, which I cannot thank you enough for. Through ups and downs, you're always there by my side. I couldn't ask for better parents. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for being caring parents and awesome supporters. You mean the world to me. You have let me go to a Christian school, taken me on fun trips, and helped me with school projects. Thank you for encouraging me to do my best I can, the best I can and reminding me to keep trying even when it's hard to proceed. You have always thought of what is best for me and blessed me with your knowledge and talents. I would not have, I would not have been where I am if it were not for you. I appreciate your hard work and dedication to help me do good in school. Thank you. come a long way for this to have happened, and you are a very big part of it. I'm so grateful and lucky to have both of you in my life. I appreciate everything you do for me, from cutting fruit to driving me to school, to paying my tuition, and so much more. I appreciate you guiding and assisting me in any way you can through every, everything I do. Your knowledge and experience matters to me and is important, even if it doesn't seem like it. Even when you do things I don't like, like taking some of my privileges away, I know deep down that you have your best intentions at heart and are just trying to help me understand and grow from my unwiser decisions or mistakes. Hopefully, I've made you proud today, and I will continue to do my best to keep getting those A's. Thank you for what you do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you, and thank you. <laughs> I just want to thank my parents for all they've done for me. They provided everything for me, my clothes, food, schooling, etc. I want to thank them for sending me to Christian schools in order for me to learn more and more about God. I also want to thank them for making my life more fun and memorable so far. I'm glad I have people to go to and I don't know what to do. They're always there to help me out, teaching me responsibility for the future and readiness for new possibilities.
following teachers, Mrs. Melgar, Mrs. Gray, Mrs. Frick, Mr. Spaulding, Mrs. Hanson, Mrs. Wallace, Mr. D, Mr. Morita, Mrs. Green, Dr. Paulson, Ms. Liness, Mr. M, Mr. Peterson, Ms. Aviles, and Mrs. Resiker. We'd like to thank you all for helping us learn and grow throughout these years. You've helped us make our way to where we are now, and without your knowledge and support, we wouldn't be here. We also recognize anyone who has acted like a teacher figure in any of our lives. Thank you, the graduating 8th grade class of 2020. to give a special recognition to the staff that are not teachers and the parents that have helped our class this last school year. We want to thank Mr. Rocha, Mrs. Popoletti, Mr. M, Pastor Miguel, and Ms. Trudy. And a special thank you to Ms. Fernanda, Ms. Fernanda and organizing the, and Ms. Evangelista for organizing and the fall festivals, Christmas concert, stream day, and other class events. And finally, we would like to thank all the parents who have helped over with all the activities. coming up here unannounced and I just want to let you know what's going on here with Mr. Marita, your favorite seventh and eighth grade teacher right now. And so I'm looking for his speech. And he was going to give you a, a share a little video, but he was not able to. So I am going to read his talk, and then I'd like all of the eighth graders to come and do a group photo, but just before the photo, I want you all to say, thank you, Mr. Marita. So here's what he has to say. Hello, everyone. I am sorry that I'm unable to be here for this wonderful celebration. Unfortunately, I've been sick for a couple of weeks, and I'm trying to get better. I really wish I could be here to celebrate this great accomplishment that the eighth graders have achieved. To the graduating class, congratulations. You have all worked hard and I'm so proud to have been your teacher this year. You all have fun yet tough times ahead of you going into high school. You're all so young and have so much of your life ahead of you. I hope that in this time, um, you are not only working hard, you will succeed, but you will also remember to enjoy your time in high school. But enough about what is to come. Today it's about you. It's all about your accomplishments, and with this celebration, I am so happy for you all. As you know, you're my first class to teach. So this first year, and you will always be so special to me. I wish you the best of luck, and I hope you've learned from me that math is fun. Congratulations once again, your eighth grade teacher, Mr. Marita. So would you guys just all gather here? Let's make sure he's watching, you know. I know he's watching via live stream. Come on up. Let's give him a big
presenting the diplomas this evening will be our principal, Dr. Lisa Bissell Paulson, and our school board chairman, Mr. Jason Mitchell. Class of 2020, now is the time you've been waiting for. The academic records have been verified, and every student has successfully completed the eighth grade requirements of the Pacific Union Conference of Seventh day Adventists. Please stand and prepare to receive your diploma. Ian Christopher Augustine. Mia Isabel Seminario. Rachel and Mindy. to the class of 2020 of Pleasant Hill. Father, we praise you and thank you for being with us through the year. 
Thank you for our teachers and principals. Principal, thank you for our parents that have been there for us and have encouraged us through good times and challenging times. We pray, we pray that you keep us safe as we transition to a new school year. We pray for wisdom and for your continued blessing. In Jesus' name I pray. We pray. Amen. Amen. Graduate. Uh, fine. Fine. Okay. Good. That's good. Rachel, how do you feel? Yes. How do you feel? Fine. Fine. Okay. Good. That's good. Good. Good descriptive work. 